Hi, my name's Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So what you're looking at here is three laser diodes, uh, which I have acquired. Uh, there's a red, green and blue. And this is the little gland I made for the fiber optic that goes to the Spectrix USB Viz spectrometer. And what we're going to try and do is use, if I look here, uh, you can see uh, maybe if I call, there's a red, there's a uh, a green, and the green's extremely bright, and there is a blue. And what I've done is I've put some polystyrene packaging over here because it was far too bright, and some of that screwed up inside and masked on uh, using this tape. Uh, just electrical tape here and in fact over the end of the lasers I put some foil like this some sticky foil and just put a pinhole in it for the green and the red laser because they were just far too intense and that means that I should be able to give you a spectra and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off the overview camera and you can see the spectra here and I'm going to place this on here so that it's kind of looking into the hole and just like that and uh, you'll see that essentially there's noise in the background there in fact I, if I go like this I can actually see the color of the LED here but you won't be able to unfortunately on this webcam because it's just not really good at seeing <laughs> coherent light okay so um, I'm gonna crank this up and I've got the samples uh, averaging over 19 samples I think uh, or 19 seconds I think. and then I have um, the integration of milliseconds it's just 10 milliseconds and hopefully this will mean we won't saturate in any of these lasers with this configuration that I put together here so let's go for the blue that's the blue now you'll see that there is a peak outside of the infrared or in the infrared rather over there to the right and we saw this with the blue LEDs from the Samsung S7 when we looked at the screen from that and the blue here is very 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 much uh, lower intensity than the green or the red uh, lasers anyway so that is the blue LED there and you can see it's rock solid uh, I'm going to try and turn on the green next and you can see bang that goes right in there and that really is green okay and it clips at 8,000 so I'm trying to keep these under 8,000 and what I will do is I will record the group spectrum and it seems to be pretty rock solid it doesn't move around I've tried this quite a long time holding the laser pointer on and these these laser pointers were I guess about fifteen dollars per piece and they're actually rechargeable via a USB lead and they have their own lithium battery in there I think and rechargeable but they are extremely dangerous you wouldn't want to look at them um, I think you could probably do this with mm, five milliwatt lasers so that's that's the green and you can see from the spectrum there that has come from Encyclopedia Britannica that really is in the green and we're going to try and hit the blue button uh, this is the red button rather it's a nice clean red Look at that. It's going up to just 1200 samples. Now, if I move this head around, it'll either look at more or less of the red that's being bounced around in that um, sort of styrene, expanded styrene packaging. So, there we go. So, we're reading about 2000 there. So, back to the blue. What are we seeing on the blue? Sorry, this is the green again, rather. And we're around about 2,000 there. And I might have overdone it with not masking off the blue because it's a little bit high. Anyway, 
what we'll try and do is I'll turn on multiple ones. So this is the blue and the green. Okay, and I'll try and turn on the red. If I can get around there, I'm going to turn them all off. I'm going to turn them all on. So this is red first, and the blue, and then the green. You see, they're nice tight lines, really tight. So I've just, I think I overdid it with removing the aluminium foil mask from the green there. Sorry, from the blue. So it's a little bit high. It's still. Yeah, so. Anyway, they're nice sharp lines. So I'm just going to capture that and I will post into the blog on remoteview.icu the uh, spectra that we capture here. And we'll see the respective nanometers captured by the Spectrix USB Viz across these RGB lasers. So we'll do that and that's just going on in the background there. Okay, so there we have it. Thank you very much for your time.